what time it is. Adventure time. We're back for another Kagura Bachi chapter. What's going on? Uh, back for another Kagura Bachi chapter. A lot of stuff happened last week. We got a new faction in the story with the Makizumi coming in, helping to protect Samura. Shit's crazy. Who knows what's going to happen with them? Absolutely insane. Who knows if they're going to die or not? <laughs> it's a possibility, but we don't know yet. A lot of action, a lot of stuff going on. Absolutely insane. But at the end of the chapter, the most pivotal point I've been talking about, which is the GOAT Hikori. Coming through, doing his goddamn thing, and establishing himself as one of the best characters in the story. Like I've been saying, you niggas got to stop playing with my mans. God damn. Corey is the GOAT. Stop playing with me. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, another Kagurabachi chapter. We're about to get into it. Who knows what's going to happen? Some characters might die. Some characters might live. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's get to the chapter and see what could possibly happen. Ugh. Ooh. This nigga clean! God damn! This nigga is business attire. Golly, brother. This shit smooth. Hold on. The tie with the ooh in the jacket. He got the cut. Ooh, 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 ooh. The boy hot. That boy hot. Stop playing with him. First, I have to touch Mr. Samara or Mr. Udaha and register them. Wait, if you overdo it now, you. Wait, what? A co Wait, no, did he pass out? wrong time to be doing that shit what's wrong with you could you imagine at a time like this for a motherfucker to be passing out bro i'd be like oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck what the fuck hikori hikori wake up what are you doing hikori 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 wake up what the fuck get up nigga there hit people here trying to kill us and you're over here playing and shit wake up oh fuck okay i'll do this myself hey he's shaku bastards What's good? What y'all trying to get into, huh? Yeah, I heard y'all talking about that good stuff. What y'all really trying to get into, huh? What y'all... Whoa. What the fuck is that? What the... What the fuck? What the fuck? What is that? What the fuck is... Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Hey, Akori, 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 wake up, wake up! It didn't work, but that's fine. You're not the one who should be pushing yourself right now. We'll need your powers later. For now, oh my god, look what's happening in the background. Niggas just dying, trees going all over the place. It's fucking chaos. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you see them when they're coming? Yeah, you see them when they're coming at them, bro? That's what I'm saying, bro. They look absolutely insane. Like, I don't think they have Don Zeki. I think they have cocaine or some shit. Like, they were like, nah, nah, you don't need uh, this magical power. Here, take this fucking methamphetamine. It's like, okay, like, <laughs> they look nuts. Hold on now, we got some exposition. What is this? The Makizumi are a family of ninja that goes back centuries. In each generation, they attend their chosen master and dedicate themselves faithfully and selflessly, serving as tools to protect. In the Seite War, they serve the organization that would later become become the Kabunabi. Nearly all of them sacrifice their lives in the line of duty. Their descendants continue to serve the Kabunabi after the war. All I heard was, hey, we're basically sacrificial lamb. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, the conspiracies are coming true. <laughs> Another group getting murdered, bro. We had the anti cloud God squad, the anti Anton squad. These niggas are dying. It's basically what you're telling us. They're like, yeah, no. These people's purpose is to sacrifice themselves for their masters. Like, bro, you're literally telling us you're going to kill them. God damn. Stop introducing groups that are going to die. Jesus Christ. Three years prior. Object all you like, but we've been charged with your protection. You're our new master. The guardians of the fortresses have been selected for compatibility with the sword bearers. The Makizumi didn't have a deep connection with Samura, but bro, this is insane. It's actually pretty cool that there's a connection between the Makizumi and the Kabunabi, and they're helping people out and helping Samura, and they're doing everything for him and all that stuff, but you know, <laughs> just the implication that they're gonna die kind of sucks. Don't worry, we'll do anything. We're ninja, we don't need your empathy. Think of us as tools in an emergency where we'll lay down our lives for you. Oh my god, I don't want these niggas. I don't even know these niggas for real, but I'm just tired of niggas sacrificing themselves. Stop. Let me get to know you first, then kill yourself, god damn it. Shit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I'm saying cut it out. I'm sure you're crazy skilled and all, but you're just kids. I'm over 20. He's over 20? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. This nigga, if he over 20, I'm 16 years old. Like, what the fuck, bro? This nigga's crazy looking. I'm not into youngsters sacrificing themselves for an old geezer like me. If you want to serve me, cut the tools crap. No sacrificing yourself, Samura! 
That's what I'm talking about. No sacrifice. Hey, we tired of you niggas giving, giving up your lives for the sake of other people. How about you worry about your goddamn selves for once? Jesus Christ. Be a little selfish for once. My lord, bro. No killing yourselves. You got a lot of life to live. All right, we're going to shred them all. Whoa, do you really think Mr. Samuro would allow us to transport him? No, not him. He won't let us die for him. But with this many enemies, oh my god, what are they scheming? Oh no, this is not good. I understand what they're trying to do, but I don't think this is the right move, bro. They need to keep this nigga in the battlefield. Or not, I don't know. It depends what you're trying to do. I mean, they are, they do need to be protected. That is a fact. Like, we can't have the Surf Bears getting captured or killed or whatever, but... Uh, it depends. It depends. We gotta keep seeing what's gonna happen, though. Oh my god, there's just so much happening in these panels, bro. Like, there's sorcery all over the place. Seminar cutting people up. Dotting second users going mad. It's like, oh my god, there's not a moment's rest. It's in. It's absolutely insane to see all this chaos go on every single panel. It's like nuts, bro. It's literally like it's like a mini war going on. Like I can't imagine. Like, oh my god, could you imagine like the like the uh, the scale on the uh, that happened the war back in the day, the Seite War? Oh my god, this is like a mini version of this. Kind of, not really. But it's close enough that we get a frame of what the Seite War was like. It's like, holy shit, it's so much happening right now. Like, I can't even imagine what the, the bigger war looked like. With his senses overwhelmed by the noise and smoke, the only guiding light available is bloodlust. Samurai will orient toward that glimmer, his only beacon in the chaos. Samurai will follow it, and he comes right Oh, yep, 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 yep. He came right at Udaha. He tracked him. Wait, oh shit! These niggas tricked him over the circle and they're gonna transport him to the. Oh! I mean, that's a good thing, but I don't know how I feel about them trans transporting him out of the battle. Like, that is smart. That's a good thing to do. But I don't know how I feel about that. Oh no, you know what? You know what it is? You know what it is? Why well, I don't like it? Because him getting transported means that the fucking Makizumi people are, are gonna 100% let themselves get killed or whatever for pro his protection. And that's why it's bugging me. I don't know, I was wondering why I was bugging me. Like, why do I, why do I not want him to leave? It's because at the moment he leaves, they're like, we're here to stop you and protect someone. I was like, oh my God, these niggas are gonna get murdered. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Udaha, what the, forgive me, Mr. Samara. He won't relent, but I can guide him with my bloodlust. There's no time to hesitate. Thank you. Hey, wait! And they fucking... Fucking... <laughs> oh my... That's actually a really... That's still a handy fucking move, bro. That little teleportation thing. Oh my goodness. He's already mad as fuck. I'm going back in. No, I can't allow it. What? We're taking Hakuri and going down the cliff. It's about to get dark and we can escape in the darkness. It's only the victory they can reap in exchange for their lives, bro. This is nuts. This is actually nuts. Look, at the end of the day, this is the right move. This isn't the wrong move in a situation like this especially with so many cards stacked against them but at the same time other niggas lives matter but i guess in the grand scheme of everything we gotta sacrifice some people for the greater good but i mean maybe something will change let's see what happens <laughs> did you really think they were just throwing their lives away as tools they're fighting desperately to prevent the enemy from reaching us unfortunately the best way you can honor them is by surviving <laughs> We gotta figure something out. Hikori. <laughs> Maybe Hikori's got something up his sleeve or something, bro. Like, I don't know. I just don't want these niggas to die. Like, I we we've talked about it all last week about how a new groups get a new group appears and then they die next chapter. It's like, bro, Hokozono is fucking playing too much, bro. This can't keep happening. As bears of the enchanted blades, our lives are gravely consequential. Oh, shut up! I don't need a lecture. What I need it. Oh wait. It's a Cory. A Cory. This nigga. Oh my god, he just did what I think he did, bro. Oh my lord. Toby Mune. He did. He did not just bring the fucking enchanted blade. He did not. If he did that, I will lose my fucking mind. He did not just give this nigga the enchanted blade. Oh! <laughs> He got this nigga the enchanted blade. We get to see Samana use the enchanted blade, nigga. What the fuck? Yo! Hey, what's happening? Someone's attacking. I don't know what this is. This nigga's hacking. This nigga's hacking them up. Oh my god. This shit is crazy. Oh! You gotta talk to this nigga. You gotta talk to me, my nigga. God damn. This shit is cold as fuck. Oh 
Oh my goodness! This nigga Salmon has the enchanted blade and went crazy on niggas. Holy shit, that's crazy. That's insane. That's actually insane. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Yo, that's a crazy way to end a chapter. That's an insane way to end a chapter. Wow. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. Hikori, number one. Go. It's all been contingent on Hikori. Not Chihiro, not Odaha, Hikori. It's been the main piece. This, this puzzle's been missing, goddammit. Not much really happened. It's all just kind of been like monologue stuff about trying to get out the situation, trying to figure out what you need to do. Some connections. We found out that the Makizumi helped the Kabunabi during the war and they've been helping them after the war. So that's pretty cool. Like there's a bunch of little things that we got. Not too much information, but little things like the Makizumi uh Odaha's not Odaha Samurai's connection with the Makizumi how they got assigned him pretty good stuff some stuff happened but obviously for the main course we got Hakori going plus ultra giving Samurai the enchanted blade going crazy I mean it's not a guarantee that you know Samurai still makes it out of here alive we may him we may see him use the blade but we don't know what that one dude how strong he is what's his limits because, I mean, if he beats Samurai with the blade, that would be insane. That lets us know the power difference and how strong that one single person. Because, you know, I kind of assumed that it would take more than one person to take out a sword bearer with the enchanted blade. But if one person from the Ishaku can take out an enchanted blade user, it's like, holy shit, we got something special going on. Like, that just sets up everything else for the future and how much of a, like, another war that's going to cost between the Ishaku, the Kabunabi, the chihiro everybody else it's like holy shit but yeah good chapter a lot of crazy stuff going on um it was nice to see just even even like that glimpse of the Toby mune being used by samurai is crazy we still haven't seen the other enchanted blade used by Odahara. we still haven't seen the other sword bearers there's so much going on so many possibilities and so many things happening i can't wait to see it so uh yeah until then we'll talk about it later and uh yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you later